everybody, welcome back to another very exciting Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. I am your host, Jesus Ramirez. How's it going? Happy Friday, everybody. Good to see you in the chat. As always, first of, first of all, let me know if you can hear me okay. And thank you so much, Sam, for being in the chat, helping out as usual. I see a lot of familiar faces already. We have Sean, Ferry, Biola, Jennifer, Michelle. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me scroll up and see what's going on in the chat. I always like reading what you guys are talking about in the chat. It's always really fun. Um, but yeah, today is Friday. I'm streaming from the beautiful Bay Area in, in the um, beautiful San Francisco Bay Area from California. Let me know where you're watching from. I see that we have people already from England, from Canada. So super, super cool. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks so much, John, for letting me know that I sound good. That's awesome. Ch uh, Chell, thank you so much for letting me know as well. Cool. So, um, oh, we have Missouri in the house. Nice. N nice to see you, Sarah. Thanks for joining me. We have Murray from, oh my God, it's going up so fast. Uh, I can't read it. It's, you're from Ontario, but I couldn't read the city. It scrolled up too quickly. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. Um, Pam, oh my God, thank you guys so much. I see that there's a lot of action going in the chat. I have like a window about this big where I need to read the comments and they're going so quickly and I'm having trouble reading them, but that's good. Keep commenting. Commenting is good. Um, Murray, uh, or, uh, Bram Brampton, is that how you pronounce it? Ontario, I had to scroll up to see what you had on there. Awesome. But yeah, today is Friday the 13th. Super, super cool. Maybe I should have used a different logo for today's stream. So today we're going to work on a logo and we're going to use some of the new features in Photoshop 2021 with vector shapes. They've been improved. So we're going to take advantage of those improvements to create a logo. And if you want to follow along with me, make sure that you go into this page, behance.net slash challenge slash Photoshop and scroll down to the November 13th box and you can click on the getting started file. You can use whatever file you want to, um, or you can follow along with me. We're going to create a logo. So you're welcome to create a logo for your company or for a fake company, remake a logo, totally up to you. You can come up with a sketch and then trace it, which is what we're gonna do in this stream. Um, it's totally up to you, to you, or you can follow along with me and recreate the logo that, that I'm going to do. And when you download this file, you'll get a PSD, and the PSD is a banana, of course. What else will it be? So we're going to create the official banana or the Adobe Banana Crew logo. You might have seen, if you're new to the chat, by the way, you might have seen that we're posting bananas all over the uh, chat and people are typing up um, the word ABC. Um, and... I want to I want to I want to say that Sean was probably the first person that came up with the ABC. I'm not really sure, so I'm going to give Sean the credit, but my apologies if it wasn't uh Sean who came up with the ABC um little um name for our group. And the reason that we're called the Banana Crew is because I use the banana on my toolbar. And if you don't know how to add a banana to your toolbar, you can go into the edit toolbar menu. It's right here right next to my head. You see that? banana uh, um, edit toolbar if I click on that a window comes up if you hold shift and click on done you'll add a banana into your toolbar so I always work with um, a banana on my toolbar you can see that there so that's what the banana thing is all about so you should add a banana into your toolbar cool <laughs> Carol wrote I need some banana money <laughs> um, Sean saying yep it was me all right Sean well that was very clever I appreciate you sharing that with us um, cool so yeah, so we're gonna start with a banana and we're gonna just build upon that um, sketch. So we're gonna get right to it. As usual, we don't have a lot of time and I don't wanna go over, so let's jump right into the logo. So some of the new features in Photoshop 2021 include improvements into the shape tools. For example, there's a brand new triangle tool. <clears throat> we're not gonna use it too much in this stream, but I just wanted to point it out, let you know that it's there. If you don't see it again, you can go into the edit toolbar menu and make sure that it's not hiding here in the extra toolbars. And then you can just click on reset to default and it should appear under the vector tools here. If not, you can just click and drag it and place it anywhere you want. I would place it next to the other vector tools, but there is a new triangle tool. 
Also, I should mention that there's another improvement in Photoshop 2021. Again, we probably won't use it much in this stream, but we do have a line tool. We had a line tool before, but the difference between this line tool and the previous line tools is that now it uses two vector points as it were before, um, you have four. So what Photoshop will do in the past is create basically like a rectangle. It would look like a line, something like that. And um, obviously that didn't work well for a lot of things. So now I'm happy to see that Photoshop has an actual line with, with two vector points, much like an illustrator. So that is a big improvement. And I just wanted to point those two things out, the triangle tool and the line tool, just so that you're aware of them. So we're not gonna use them too much in this stream. Um, let me see if there's any questions in the chat. Um, very, that's a very good question. What's the difference between the triangle tool and the uh, poly polygon tool with um, three sides? We'll talk a little bit about that, but basically what he's referring to is we have the triangle tool. When you click and drag, you can create your triangle. And with all these um, these tools, you have um, options that you can use here. And as you can see, the options for the um, triangle are just to round the corners. As you can see here, oh, oh look at that. Photoshop crashed on me, doesn't like the triangle tool. <laughs> All right, no worries, I can open it up again. So yeah, it looks like Photoshop didn't like the triangle tool. But yeah, so um, what I was doing there is I was in the properties panel with all these tools. If uh, You're gonna see the biggest difference in the properties panels with these tools. You, you can go to the properties panels and then round the corner stuff. There's also on-screen overlays that um, allow you to round the corners. Let me just make a bigger triangle to, to show you that. You can see this little arc here, or this little dot I mean. When you click and drag on that little dot, you can circle or, or round off, I should say, the corners. And Ferry's question was, well, there's also a polygon tool. And obviously that's not what the polygon tool looks like. If What's the difference between doing that and having three sides? To be frank with you, there's not a huge difference. And if anything, um, the polygon tool gives you more options because you can do this sort of like star looking thing here by adjusting these controls. So maybe the, the polygon tool might be a better way to go since it gives you more flexibility, 